Connecting the degree to the type of function. So, instead of looking at the rates of change, they've actually given us expressions that represent curves or lines on a graph. We need to figure out, just by looking at the expression, whether it is a linear expression or a quadratic expression or neither. Okay? It doesn't mean there isn't a name for it. There's many other names. Cubic, quantic, uh, absolute, well, aquatic, no, not aquatic. Okay, there's many other types of functions, but we're just focusing on linear, quadratic, or not any of them. Okay, so neither is ours. Let's take a look at the first one. At the first one, does anyone know how we can tell if something is linear or quadratic by looking at an expression? If the variable's degree, very good. The degree of the variable is what? For it to be linear, what does it need to be the degree? Square. One. To be linear. Okay? The degree of this, if there is no number there, is assumed it's one. Therefore, since the degree of this function is one, what type of function is this? This is a linear function. Okay? Now, let's look at the second example. The second example has two. It has a variable with the exponent of two, and it has a variable with the exponent of one. What type of function would this be considered? Why quadratic and not linear? Okay, but we have a squared and we have a one. Which is more important? Okay, whatever is highest. When we're trying to figure out what degree it is, we look to the highest degree. So since this is the degree of 1, the highest one is the number 2. We just focus on that. Since our variable is squared, that means we are going to have a quadratic function. Okay? Let's look at our third one. Third one here. What are the degrees of our variables? What's the degree of this variable? And degree of this? What type of function is this? Linear. Who says linear? Put up your hand. Quadratic. What? Quadratic. Who says quadratic? Put up your hand. Why quadratic? Good. Good. You are wrong. Okay. The reason this is going to be quadratic. It's because right now we're not in standard form. If you looked at the other two, and remember from last year, this is essentially our standard form. Over here we're in factored form, so we need to distribute before we can tell whether this is quadratic or linear. So when I go to distribute that, that is 3x times x, which will give us 3x squared, and 3x times negative 6 will give us negative 18x. Well, then we're back in the same boat as before. We have two degrees. We take the degree of the highest one. We have a quadratic function. And finally, the last one. This is also can be considered a factored form. This is also usually called vertex form with quadratics. Okay? We're going to have to distribute this. Anyone know off the top of their head what it's going to be? Linear, quadratic, or neither? Neither. So neither. Anyone think quadratic? Does anyone think linear? Okay, so let's work this out. This base needs to be multiplied by itself twice, so we're going back to our distributive property. Okay? Remember our FOIL. We did this at the beginning. We take the first terms, so that gives us x squared. Then we take the outside terms, which gives us negative 2x. Inside terms, negative 2x. And last terms, positive 4, and then we're going to be subtracting x squared. Collect our like terms. Well, we have x squared minus x squared and negative 2x minus 2x. That'll give us negative 4x plus 4. These two will cancel out. What do we have now? This is linear. This is in standard form. So we had to do a little bit of work in order to figure those other two out. Okay?